Hey guys, this is Sari Torres for the Pixel Slayers. And here we have a sealed copy of Untitled Goose Game by House House. And this is, of course, an indie game that released earlier this year. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's pretty popular. And it's just now being released in a physical version. I have here the Switch version, which just came out today. Let's go ahead and unwrap this and see what's inside. Stay tuned. All right, so we went ahead and got this out of the clink crinkly wrap. A little bit still left over. Let's get that off of here. This is Untitled Goose Game. I'm so happy this is physically released. Finally, I've been waiting on this game to get a physical release in order to buy it. I did play it for a bit. We had one month of um, Xbox One Game Pass. Uh, right now we only have the PC Game Pass, but when we had the Xbox One Game Pass for about a month, we tried this out, loved it, but we did want to wait for that physical release and we want it on the Switch. Um, it says number of players one, but there has been an update released for co-op for two players. I'm excited to play this co-op with my six-year-old daughter because she was playing around with it when we had it for that short period of time, and I know we're going to have a lot of fun with it. All right, and one thing I love about some of these indie releases, they come with extra goodies. First off, we've got a No Goose sticker, and I kind of have a love-hate relationship for when they give you stickers like this because I want to stick them on something. But I also don't, because <laughs> this is an awesome collector's item, and I kind of want to keep it like this, but also I want to put this on my car, I want to put this on my window, I want to put this everywhere. So I still don't know what I'm going to do with this, but we'll just put him right there for now. And we've got Plaza, A World of Items, the Spring Summer Catalog. Here we've got here bunch of different things that you can get in the game. I believe this... Ah, yes! So, oh, this is cute! What's new at Plaza? Take a stroll and see. You can go ahead and pause if you want to read through all that. I love the sort of in-world world building that they have here for this, because, you know, this isn't in the game as far as I know of the whole plaza thing. It might be. I don't know. I didn't get super far. Um, so, you know, take that with like a grain of salt. But this whole thing is specifically made for this collector's version. Um, wow, they went really in depth with all this. This is awesome. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go through this. I remember that part where you're stealing the glasses. Oh wow, proudly made by the Ash family. Do you wish to rainproof your footwear? You may. Wow. Ha Haggett and Hog. Oh, the part with the with the walkie talkies is pretty good. I liked that. And I noticed everything is in, I'm American, so I don't know. It's either pounds or euros. I think that's pounds. Yeah, that's pounds, isn't it? If not, I'm sure I'm gonna hear about it in the comments. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Well, the harmonica, there's a fun scene with the harmonica. I, I know I got that far. I think that's about where I left off last time. I saw online where someone had gotten every single item in the game and put it right at the beginning point of the game. They took every item and brought it all the way over there. Towny figures that just kind of describes all the people in the town. <laughs> Jeremy Fish. pretty substantial too. I wasn't expecting it to have this many pages. And again, um, sorry if I'm not staying on any single page too long, but I think, uh, I 
think it's zoomed in far enough that you can pause it and read as much as you want at your leisure. I guess this is sort of a combo manual mania slash unboxing, which may be a first for this channel. We do have um we do have episodes of a thing called Manual Mania on here where we go through mostly old video game manuals because you don't see them as much anymore. We definitely miss them and um that's why we have that show on our channel. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the playlist of those in the in the corner um, if that interests you. Oh, this is super cute. We got the order form. Oh, I love the details. Like they put the example, how you're gonna pay. It's on us. I wish everything had that. Plaza selection changes seasonally. Expect our next issue soon. I hope that is a clue to maybe a sequel or DLC. Who knows? I guess these are all the locations. I'm wondering if they just pick random locations for this, because this is supposed to be the locations of their shops. I wonder if maybe these have something to do with maybe where the creators of the game are from. Who knows, maybe this is some sort of Easter egg at the end, or maybe what they base the levels on, or maybe they just pick some random cities to throw in there. That's a nice little, like, gadget sorted. That's so cute. I love that. Wait, there is even more. Make sure I do not bend this. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to zoom out for this one. Wow. All right, I've got this all folded out. This is pretty substantial. You can see my hand next to it. Um, this is a map of the entire world of Untitled Goose Game. It's really nice. It almost looks like, looks like it's watercolor. It just gives you the different portions of the town. There's the kid, the electronics shop. There's about where you start with the pond and the farmer. And it's a really nice piece. This is very cool and it works to help you sort of strategize your way through the game. And it's just a nice little extra ad they added into this. Now, of course I say little extra, but it's actually quite big. It's, it's a full size map or poster. You can hang up and just like most maps, I don't know how to fold it up properly. Okay, there we go. Now that'll fit back in there. And last but not least, we have the cartridge. Just your standard Switch cartridge. And there we go. That's the game itself. The smallest thing in the box now. It's still crazy to me how small these things have gotten. Um, just a little blurb about a limited warranty. And that is that. So that is the entire package. Everything you get with the physical version of Untitled Goose Game for Switch. Um, I believe this is similar with the Xbox One and PS4 releases. Except, of course, there will be the disc instead of the cartridge. And a different shaped box and all that. But I feel like this really comes with a lot of cool stuff. And I'm glad that I waited out. I waited to get this game um, for its physical release, and I'm excited to play it through all the way with my daughter on co-op mode. So uh, this has been Sari Tours of the Pixel Slayers. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again soon. Bye.